Hello everyone, welcome back. I am so excited to share today's video with you. It is a project that my husband and I have been wanting to work on for quite some time now. We will be building a pergola for this area in our backyard. My husband has had this on his mind for at least a year now and we finally tackled this job. It definitely was a big job, but I do think that he designed it so perfectly that it made it so much easier on him. I was definitely just a big helper in a big way, but he was totally the person that was uh, the designer and the brains behind this project. So um, kudos to him for doing such a great job. For our posts, we will be using 4x4 beams. These beams are not pressure treated. We went ahead and sanded them down and stained them ourselves. And this was the first step in our project. For this project, we will be staining all of our beams with the Olympic Maximum. This is a semi-transparent stain and it is an exterior stain. You can use this on decks and any type of exterior wood project. This color is a cedar natural tone and using this product really helps save time because it stains and seals all in one. After a little bit of time staining, this is what our four posts look like. I really do like the color. It was a product that was really easy to use and I really do recommend it. The next thing that I'm doing is painting this hardware. What these pieces of metal are, are the tie corners that are going to link together our 4x4 posts with our 2x4 rafters that will be hanging above the pergola. These tie corners are what are going to help us make that square that you are looking for when you make a pergola. These tie corners were amazing. They have pre-drilled holes so you know exactly where you need to drill holes into your 2x4s and it's also galvanized metal so it won't corrode. I highly, highly recommend if you are making a pergola to use these. These will make your life so much easier.
We are now going to screw in the tie corners to our 4x4 beam. We are using number 8 screws. These screws are very particular to this type of corner. Um, it's all the same brand. The brand is called Simpson. All of the holes on the tie corner are pre-drilled which allows for ease of installation and definitely takes the guesswork out of where you're going to be drilling holes. This is what your 4x4 should look like once you get the tie corner screwed on. The next thing that we are going to do is go ahead and get the 2x4s screwed in onto the side as well. Once you get to this point, the rest of your project is going to be so easy and it's going to fly by. Before you know it, the frame of your pergola is going to be done. At this point we did have to lift the structure off the ground just because there are some pre-drilled holes on the bottom of the wood beams that you do need to get to. We are now bringing this part of our pergola over to the area that we want to place it in. We want to make sure to place it in the area that we want it to go in just because once we add in all the wood, it's going to be really heavy for me to help my husband move. I think two adult males can do it just fine, but I'm a girl and I'm trying my best just to help him as much as I can. Now we are just trying to get all of our pieces linked together. We needed additional hands, but we just used what we could. So out came my son, my daughter's too little, and you will see we did have a little hiccup.
we are now bringing in the fourth and final beam and this will complete the frame of our pergola. And this is the first frame completed and done. We actually did build two pergolas, but I'm only going to show you the process of one and then I'll show you the end result of the two put together. But it looks amazing so far. It was such a hot day here in Arizona. So as you can see, my husband is cooling down, which was definitely a nice reward for all the hard work that he had done. So now moving on to the second half of our project and that is getting the wood beams up on the ceiling of our pergola. We are going to do a floating look. That means that there's not going to be any beams sticking off the side of our pergola. Everything is going to be contained in the frame and kind of give it a look that our beams are floating. My husband is going to make pocket holes on all of the 2x4s and it is in these pocket holes that he will be attaching to the 2x4 that is already existing up on the frame.
And here it is, the finished pergola. It is so perfect and we are so in love with it. My husband ended up putting some misters under the pergola as well. So that's also been a nice addition. It is so hot here in Arizona and we definitely needed the shade. Aside from that, we added a sunshade on the top just to add some additional shade to um, the bottom of the pergola and that has worked out really well. I am going to leave all the figures down below. We saved so much money DIYing this project ourselves and that's with even making two pergolas. We just attached them together and just made one big long pergola and we are so happy and excited to have this in our yard this summer. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you are interested in any other DIY projects we may be doing around our house during this time period, make sure to subscribe. I promise we will never disappoint. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.